Hello, leaderboard. My name is Lee Canoodala. I am the roaster, green buyer, bag filler, sticker applier, shipper, and owner of Quietly Coffee here in the Ontario countryside. I started Quietly about a year and a half ago, and previous to this, I was the head roaster and green buyer at Cut Coffee, or now Sam James Coffee, in Toronto. So first, thank you to Sunil and Grant for creating Leaderboard and asking me to be a part of it. I'm a huge advocate for community and education in coffee because I think the more we do that, the more people get on board with specialty and the more people we have on board, the more we can pay producers and the more we can pay producers, the brighter and shinier and sweeter cups we can have. So thank you, I love it. Stoked to be part of this. And I'm supposed to talk about an achievement or qualification about why I'm here. So. This might be an unusual one, but I have a PhD. Uh, while becoming a roaster, switching over from barista, I finished a doctorate at York University. And while it was not about coffee at all, uh, it did give me access to a lot of scientific journals and a lot of time in the archives, which allowed me to really inform my approach to roasting through grounded science uh, rather than lore. So that was hugely useful, um, PhD less so, uh, although my Aaron Miles card does a doctor, which is pretty cool. So I'm here today to talk about types of heat. So qualities of heat. We like to think of heat as kind of universal, especially when we're roasting on machines like this. Almost got it, there we go. Where we're turning green beans into roasted beets. But there's different qualities of heat. So I like to use the dumpling uh, analogy. So. Say we have some pork and onion dumplings and we want to eat them. We could pan fry them or we could steam them. And despite the fact that the dumplings are gonna be the same, the end product will be much different. If we pan fry them, we're gonna to have to get a caramelized outside. We're gonna have a bit more texture. Uh, there's gonna be the kind of sweet bitterness from that caramelization process versus steamed. Steaming will have this nice fluffy texture, a bit more clean notes, uh, kind of less bitterness, less sweetness. And this is the way that we could have a kind of difference in the qualities of heat. And this actually applies to roasting. Almost got it, there, had it. Nope, nope, there we go. Roasting on machines like this. So roasters uh, are pretty simple in design, haven't changed too much since their advent. Uh, there's a drum that rotates in most of them and heat that is applied to the drum. But it's about the quality of that heat. So we could have conduction, which is direct heat transfer from one surface to another, which would be like pan fried dumplings. Or we could have convection, which is heat transfer from you know, something like air or steam or water. And so roasters will kind of depend on their machine for these types of heat. So this is a probat. And according to probat um, and Diedrich and other classic drum roasters, the majority of the heat comes from convection. As that drum is turning, the heat comes from the air that is going through the drum as it rotates. Although there is some level of conduction because they're touching a hot drum. There's other roasters, so like a Loring, uh, which is a wonderful machine, they use recirculated exhaust heat. So the heat kind of rotates through the machine and it's the air, so very little drum heat because there's no flame under the drum. So this would be more convection heavy. If I want to pan roast at home, that's going to be mostly conduction because they're going to taste heavily like conduction. Or if I use an air popper, that would be mostly convection. So one of the fun things that you can do as a roaster is learn the differences between these qualities of heat. You can play with them. This Probat, for example, has variable airflow, which by increasing or decreasing, you could actually change the quality of conduction and convection. Or on alternate machines, you know, I used a Diedrich for a long time. That has a very different flavor to me. Uh, I used a Jober for a long time. They have a really long drum. Again, a different flavor. So the longer you do this, the more you can kind of be like, hey, this might have been roasted on this machine or this might have been doing that. But how do you get there? Well, I don't know. Think about dumplings. Think about qualities of heat at home when you're cooking and then think about how that happens to these and ask your roaster what they're using because then you might get some insight into conduction versus convection. Also, a little bit of an asterisk here. I should mention that there's also radiation is the third type of heat and that does happen from bean to bean, but the vast majority of roasting, convection, some classic drum roasters, some conduction. Thank you.